Warning, a new breed of alien is fast approaching. Lasers can't hurt this baddie, so find another way to defeat it. I literally just got itchy, you've gotta be kidding me. The one time I don't bring a bodyguard, we've got some kind of new freak showing up. So what do I do? But I've got nothing to defend myself against whatever the Christ that is. What's up guys and welcome back to Insane Aquarium, the only game where your likes on this video mean thoughts and prayers for our beautiful little fish babies, right before they're torn apart by piranhas and teleporting aliens. Now as we already know, the first step to making any profitable, happy, healthy community is assembling a crackpot team of experts, right? Where we're gonna have like the dumb fish Avengers. <laughs> we're gonna bring Nico the oyster, Itchy the swordfish, and Zorf. Destroyer of Worlds! No, I still have no idea what Zorf does. We haven't tried him yet. I'm not even sure what he is. Like, he kinda looks like a seahorse, but he also kinda looks like a puckered sperm with a mohawk. Whoa, welcome to the second tank. Now things get tricky. Oh, we've moved on. And Zorf barfs out upgraded food? I knew that he would help feed our tank, but I didn't really understand how. Don't be like me and let your baby fish eat from a stranger's suckers. That's not good. I'm just kidding, Zorf. Okay, you're doing a great job raising these kids all on your own. So you know what? Here's half a dozen more. Enjoy. <laughs> Something tells me you're not gonna be able to get to all of them. So we'll have shared custody over the tank. How about that? On the one condition that you stay away from that whore neighbor of ours, the ocean vagina. Okay, you're all mine. Thank you, Nico. I'm happy you're doing your job as well. Okay, you know what, Itchy? And now it's time to do your job. Everybody is pitching in. Dumb fish Avengers assemble. Quarantine the aliens near the vagina. And we're good. <laughs> that is something I did not think I would say when I woke up this morning. So I could upgrade my ability to feed these fish, and that's probably gonna be important, but I could also spend $250 on Star Potion. And I have no idea what that is, so we might as well get it and feed it to our fish and have them die. That just straight up killed a fish. Why would I spend $250 to kill a fish? Wait, what? Hold on a second. Star Potion, go. It kills the fish! Why does it kill my fish? Am I doing something wrong? Okay, that one didn't die. It survived the experiment. Listen, okay, feeding a beaker full of glowing green chemicals that has like a 33% chance to transform your fish into a giant gold star pooping machine is totally natural. 100% natural around here. Are we going to get back to work, Itchy? Good, good, there we go. Okay, so we can get a piece of egg. We should probably be focusing on that because otherwise we're gonna be here forever. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that whole star potion deal. But for now, we have found an egg that will unlock us. Clyde the jellyfish. Clyde drifts slowly through your tank, collecting any coins it passes by. I don't think I can remember anything beyond the first tank, so these are all new to me, but Clyde doesn't sound that great. No, he sounds like a better version of Stinky the Snail, but that's not much. That being said, I feel like every newcomer has to be given a shot, right? We're gonna try out everybody, so we'll bring Clyde along with Itchy to help me defend against whatever's coming and Probably Zorf. You know, I don't really need that much help feeding the tank, but at the same time, I can only shoot my laser or feed people. And it's like I said, I don't know what's coming. I would imagine it's gonna be a whole lot more dangerous and require a whole lot more laser shots, so me and Itchy are gonna be busy. It's kind of weird to see that giant empty space where Nico used to be. Like, I, I didn't expect to miss him, but I, I kind of do. I, and I'm sure the giant ocean vagina does as well. You know, they were definitely forming a bond back there. You know, birds of a feather. Ooh, we can now buy a star catcher. Whatever that is. Okay, so do we want star fish? Star producing fish? Starfish are a different thing, right? So what if I make you guys a 
Der fish. No, you die. Why does that keep happening? Listen, I'm the only one around here that gets to kill my fish, okay? So if you got a problem with that, then you can just take it up with my complaint department itchy. I'm sure he'll be happy to point you in the right direction. <laughs> now, what is going on with these chemicals? How do I make starfish, right? I take it and I feed you and you turn into a fish rather than dying because you're the max size. Oh, okay, so don't feed the little ones too many chemicals. Th th trial by error, okay? We all live and learn, except for the fish. I'm not completely convinced that it's worth spending $750 for a star collector when I only have one starfish, but I gotta see <laughs> what this stupid little guy does. I you didn't even catch that! It was right next to you! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude! Come on! He's really just gonna sit down there in the corner with his little ubu face and maybe... Oh! Oh, he turns them into diamonds! And diamonds are probably worth quite a bit more. I would imagine he missed that one again. <laughs> Not worth it! Okay, you know what? We need to upgrade our food quite a bit. We need to get a whole bunch more fish in this tank. Yes, I know! Okay, I'm broke. I get it. I'm not really doing a very good job right now. <laughs> I'm just screwing around trying to figure out how all this works. No! Nobody eat that! Nobody eat that! That was a mistake! You can eat it. Right, you won't die or mutate into something else, I hope. These attacks are getting far more frequent and they're pissing me off! No! No! My star catcher! I didn't think you could eat the special fish! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, that's a damn bummer. Okay, again, it's a learning experience. Live and learn, except for him. <laughs> a lot of these live and learn experiences come at the cost of someone's life. Like, I can understand gold coins and silver coins, but how am I spending gold stars and, and diamonds? Besides the fact that they came from a fish's ours, who is possibly accepting this as currency? Oh, wait! I guess the egg store? I don't really know. Either way, we have found Vert the Skeleton. Vert drops gold coins just like a large guppy, but doesn't need fish food to survive. It's like I said, everybody gets a chance, so I guess we're bringing him along, and I was having a really hard time collecting everything. I feel like I missed a whole lot of stars and coins and horseshoes and balloons, four-leaf clovers, I don't know. Either way, I, I think we're gonna bring Clyde and Stinky. We get both the collectors, okay? The return of Stinky. <laughs> that was gonna be the fourth Lord of the Rings book, but they decided to scrap it. Well, as nice as it is to have an undead coin pooping fish on my side, I feel like I need more, right? My fishy greed is insatiable. There's gotta be some kind of way for me to mutate them to crap out diamonds, right? We got nothing. We still have the star potion and the star catcher, but I need more. I guess I could get better food for now, right? I gotta keep them all alive. Warning, a new breed of alien is fast approaching. Lasers can't hurt this baddie, so find another way to defeat it. I literally just got itchy. You've got to be kidding me. The one time I don't bring a bodyguard, we've got some kind of new freak showing up. So what do I do? But I, I've got nothing to defend myself against whatever the Christ that is. Oh, oh wait, what? I can feed it. Okay, no, no, don't, don't eat, don't eat my fish, eat my food. Eat my food, don't eat my fish. Get, get away, get away, no, no, no. He ate himself to death. Okay. What? I'm not 100% sure what that was or what it was called. It kind of looked like Mr. Peanut. Except he ate a lot of paint chips as a child. Yeah, we'll go with something like that. <laughs> now, I need to focus on upgrading my food in both quality and quantity, because if another one shows up, then I'm gonna be in trouble, and I definitely wanna be able to feed it as quickly as possible. No, 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 eat, eat, my friend. That is annoying. That's really annoying. That one star catcher doesn't look too good. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Those little idiots can starve to death if they don't get stars. Well, that's good to know. But most of the time, they can't even manage to catch them. Why is this game such a ball buster? Why are fish so stupid? 
The fact that I brought Clyde and Stinky with me doesn't help either because they also want to collect the stars and let these little idiots starve to death. Boom, suck it. <laughs> Shove all those pills down your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, and we get a piece of egg. Yeah, we'll be there in no time. I don't even care if the collectors starve. Why am I even trying? <laughs> I get so attached to all their stupid little faces that I want everything to survive when in all reality, I shouldn't care. I don't care. No, no, not again. I overpopulated the tank and that was a mistake because you're gonna eat so many of them or not because I'm all over it. Oh yeah, we're in the clear now and I don't even really need to be collecting, right? Because I got a whole team collecting for me. I could just be buying egg pizzas and focusing on that and maybe focusing on feeding because my God, there's so much hunger in this tank. Wait, okay, pills are up, guys. Come on. Everybody line up and get one. There we go. Holy crap, that's a lot of coins. I can't keep up with these giant schools of dying fish, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're walking away. <laughs> Things get way too stressful in this game. We got Rufus the Fiddler Crab. Rufus does heavy damage to enemies you've lured to the bottom of the tank. That seems actually useful. If I can manage to lure them to the bottom of the tank. I don't know if I can lure the chunky Mr. Peanut guys to the bottom. They just kind of do whatever they want. Anything with a laser, I can though. So you might be worth taking and just fortunate because I, I do have to bring you with me. I guess we'll bring you, let's switch it up. We'll bring you and uh, how about Prego and Nico? You gotta keep people on their toes, right? Keep viewers entertained. So you guys just spit out a bunch of pearls and babies and myself and Rufus here will keep everything under control. I still love the fact that Prego goes from everything is cool, not a big deal, just a little pregnant to oh my god, it's happening, it's coming, and yup, shit out a baby. Listen, it's great that we have a whole bunch of cute little hungry mouths to feed, but I really need one of you to grow up so that I can upgrade my food and feed the gross Mr. Peanut Man or else he's gonna eat you guys like snacks. Uh, oh, 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 what, what the shit, what the shit, what the shit? What? Okay, hold on, we have some kind of underwater rocket robot. Safe to say I didn't expect that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man, Rufus, you showed up at the perfect time. Oh, I never even realized what it says in the bottom. Alien signature type D detected. Okay, so you're type D, are you? And I can blow up the rockets. Right, I kind of panicked and realized that last time, but when you actually know what you're doing, rather than screaming and flailing about, then you can mount a pretty good defense. Here we go, okay, you just keep pooping out your babies, you keep producing your pearls, everything is fine, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. Here, have some chemicals. Somebody please eat those chemicals, I know what I'm doing. Somebody eat the chemicals, I'm... I still know what I'm doing. Prego, you're really shitting all over my strategy right now, literally, because I'm trying my best to make it so I have nothing but adults, and that way I can throw out all of the star potions I want and not have to worry about killing them, but then you go and crap out a bunch of babies or another killer robot shows up, and everything gets complicated. Okay, people have to be hungry right now, right? So, there you go, there you go. Come on, come on, there we go, perfect. <laughs> Flawless execution of the star potions, you like that? See, I told you, I know what I'm doing. All right, Prego, I'm not gonna lie, things are getting a little out of hand. Maybe you should stop giving birth considering we're under constant robot missile attack. <laughs> that would be great, I would really appreciate it because I cannot keep up with feeding all these damn fish. There's so many of them, I can't collect either. I got no helpful collectors, I got no helpful feeders, I got nothing going for me right now. <laughs> Except for a piece of egg. That's all I gotta focus on in all reality. Just finish the level as quickly as possible. Who gives a shit about these fish? I'm just now realizing that Rufus looks really sad. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, uh, it might just be because there's money raining down on him all the time and he has no use for it. Like, what would a crab spend money on? There's no crab strippers or anything like that. <laughs> Rufus, I'm willing to pay you a perfectly good living wage if you want. I can pay you in pills. And everybody loves pills, right? Oh God, more, no, no, you know what? We're, we're so close, we're gonna finish this. We're finishing this right now. Done, okay? God damn it, Prego, you make things so 
complicated. We unlocked Meryl the Mermaid. Wait a minute, wasn't her name Jeff on the main menu? Jeff. Meryl's song cheers up all the guppies in the tank, making them drop coins faster. Whoa, 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 so she's both useful and has a rock and pair of tits. This is the best of both worlds. So she's guaranteed to come, but I have no idea what else to bring with me. Like, they're throwing a lot of weird new enemies at me. And, like, I could bring Rufus, but if I can't get them to the bottom of the tank, then he's completely useless. I guess Itchy's always kind of good, right? Like, he can attack no matter where. And how about... Clyde, I know I said you were kind of useless, Clyde, but at the same time, I'm having a real hard time both feeding and collecting. <laughs> so you're gonna be useful towards the end. Now, Meryl, Titty Mermaid, whatever you wanna go by, go ahead and sing. I wanna see these guppies dance. I didn't get to hear her song. Oh, there was a crap load of coins that got pooped out, but I was too busy spreading over type, oh, not type G, anybody but type fat peanut boy. No, 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 no. Don't eat everything. Oh, oh, Itchy is attacking him. Good. So we can attack him. It's just the laser that doesn't do anything. And, you know, good is relative because now I'm broke. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be difficult. Wait, 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 wait. I can't, no, no. I can't even afford to feed my fish. Are you kidding me? I'm the worst fish parent ever, okay? Don't judge me, Meryl. I'm trying my best. I'm a strong, independent fish father. They're, they're all gonna die. They're, they're all gonna die. I, I, I've never had this happen before. <laughs> oh, don't you sing now. <laughs> all right, that's awkward. Yeah, gotta be just a, a little bit more careful because it turns out game overs are possible. Let's try that again, except for this time, I'm not gonna be a strong, independent father, okay? I'm gonna bring Zorf along with me because I need all the feeding help I can get. Thank you, Zorf, I appreciate you. Oh, oh, every time she sings, aliens show up. There's no way that's a coincidence. What is it, type G? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on, I, I can feed it better food. Hopefully, hopefully that helps, hopefully that helps. Come on! Attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it! It always comes so close to eating everything I have. <laughs> this is not working. Why is this so hard? We now have a tank full of star shitters, and it turns out when she sings, that's incredibly profitable. <laughs> and no aliens. Also, I'm gonna call them star shitters from now on instead of starfish, because like I said, there's already starfish. I'm 99% sure star shitter isn't taken yet. <laughs> In fact, we might want some more fish. Is that too many? That that might be too many. That might have been a little bit much. But you know what? I need all the money I can get because these eggs cost 30000 now. 10000 for a third of an egg. Whatever's in it, it better be nuts. It better have bigger boobs than her. This is the time when I would have really appreciated Clyde's help. He would have definitely been pulling his weight. Oh, robots are back. Interesting, interesting. So it's not gonna be only the peanut men, but sometimes they'll mix it up on me. Okay, and then you sing good timing. I, I can't possibly click on all these. This, it's physically impossible. <laughs> Holy crap, it's so much money. I may have taken things a little bit too far. My hand is getting tired. Whose hand gets tired playing a fish tank simulator? There we go, we got one piece of egg down at least. God did not intend to give man this much power over nature. <laughs> this has gotten completely out of hand. I, I just, I straight up can't keep up with it. And then she goes and does stuff like that and it's just a free for all. <laughs> okay, we got one more piece. Just, just one more. That's all I need. Just one tiny little piece of egg. It's not that big of a deal. Can I, can I just get a discount or something? It's gotta be like a boxing day inside of a fish. You know who needs to really start pulling their weight in this tank? The ocean vagina. Just hanging out back there, enjoying the view, flapping in the breeze or whatever the Christ it does, and it's really pissing me off. Everybody else is contributing. Everybody is either pooping out something, feeding something, creating something, defending something, or singing. Don't sing, don't, I, that wasn't a cue to sing, please. I can't keep up. 
I'm so close. I just need a little more. I have been feeding and cleaning up after fish for nearly three hours. It is going to drive me to the brink of insanity. Done. Done. I'm walking away. I'm give me somebody cool for that. We got Wadsworth the whale. Wadsworth helps by sheltering your baby and medium guppies from hungry aliens. That's actually really clever. It might be kind of useful. They all they can all just jump inside of him. I won't get a game over as I'm busy killing whatever robot alien gross Mr. Peanut thing is attacking my tank. <laughs> what is this game? Ooh, bonus round, collect as many shells as you can. Okay, we want the blue, the white, and the bags. Those are the most important ones. Everything else we could try to get, but we need to focus on blue, white, and bags. Oh yeah, this is nothing. It's like I've been training with weights on this entire time. Of course I could get every last one of these. And I need to try my hardest because you get bonus pets, secret bonus pets, which we definitely want. How was that? A thousand and nine, only like 700 last time. That's pretty good. We, we need 20,000 for a bonus pet, are you kidding me? But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Insane Aquarium, guys. I just got the name. It just struck me that it's not because all of these little creatures are insane, it's gonna drive you insane. <laughs> But I'm still really enjoying it. I still find this game so nostalgic and charming that I would love to play more. So if you guys want to see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and maybe I'll return to do another tank next time.